Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we are doing another what if video. So this one's going to be, probably won't be a long video, but it's just one, one thing I actually had on my own mind um, that I was thinking about. And that was, what if a, the Tesla Roadster, so if you remember that car in the game, what if that hit the earth at the speed of light? Well, maybe we'll try it against a few asteroids as well, but I want to see... Would it have any effect? Would we see any impact mark or anything? Because, I mean, it is a car, it is quite a small object, but who knows? Maybe it will have a, um impact, but um, maybe not. I, I don't know. So, yeah, we'll just get straight into this. So, um, no, I don't want custom objects. I want that one there. And yeah, there we go. But yeah, before we begin, guys, just say, oh no, I don't want to close it. But yeah, before we begin, just a massive, massive thank you. As always, it's really, really cool um, the way the subscriber count is going up. I mean, damn, yeah. It's almost at 6,700 now. We're like, we're really getting close to that 7,000 mark. So yeah, just a yeah, massive, massive thank you. And I still need to do the 6,000 special, don't I? I? Yeah, I'm really slacking on that. But yeah, I need to get that done. So um, yeah, anyways, let's um, start. So Tesla versus Earth at the speed of light. So we'll probably have to slow this down a lot to actually see the Tesla. So we'll go ahead and shoot it um, in the Atlantic Ocean here. So let's click it. So there you go. The Tesla has already spawned. So there it is there. Alright, let's um, watch its descent as it um, heads back to Earth. So it's going straight into the Atlantic there. There it is there. I guess we can shoot it the correct way like that. Alright, so here is Tesla. So let's um, speed this up. And let's see if it does anything at all. So we're travelling at about one millisecond here, just over a millisecond. And look how quick it travels at the speed of light. The speed of light is a pretty crazy um, thing, isn't it? Yeah, speed. One light speed. So Tesla always coming in at an angle. So you're going to crash into the Atlantic Ocean. Let's see what craziness will unfold here. So we can see a bit of Europe there, obviously. And there's America. So yeah, we're going into the Atlantic Ocean here. We're going to slow it down a lot. See if there's any impact mark at all. It looks like we're in the atmosphere now since the blue glow has disappeared. So let's keep going. Oh, the car's falling down. Oh, dear. Let's um, go in studio mode just so we can see it a little easier. Um, there we go. Go on, Tesla, or flashlight, I guess. That's even better. So, let's watch. It's going to get closer and closer. Oh, no. So, you can see it's going through the clouds now. So, it's through the atmosphere. It's going into the clouds or below the clouds. It's not much further now. It's going to hit the sea soon. Oh, oh, any second now. And it's gone. So, it crashed somewhere here. Is there any, any impact mark at all? Anything? Nothing. Well, it did, it did plonk in the ocean, um, so it obviously would have sank. Um, in reality, it would have sank, so it probably would have just made a giant splash. But let's shoot it into land and see if there's any difference or we can spot any impact marks. Let's shoot it um, uh, England here. So let's um, yeah, we're still so play. So there we go. The Tesla is in here. So where is it? Um, there we go. Tesla. Right. So let's um, check it out here. Now, yeah, I'm definitely going to try this on like an asteroid or something. Maybe it, maybe an object with a lot less mass and size. Maybe, maybe the Tesla will make an impact on that at light speed. Who knows? But anyway, so here we go. So we're shooting it into the UK now. Right. So let's speed this guy up. Let's see what we'll have here. So the Tesla roads to sport. There we go. <laughs> let's go. All right. So it's going to crash into the UK. Let's see. Um, let's see um, where it's going to go. Right. There we go. Oh, we've got all the little Teslas as well. So let's um, keep going. So it's coming in from space. Speed of light. Oh, you can see some city lights over there. Um, come on. There probably won't be any um, impact mark, but who knows. Okay, so it's gone. So yeah, definitely it obviously crashed in the UK here. Yeah, and yeah, no impact mark. We'll turn off client mode just to see if that's hiding anything. But yeah, nothing. Doesn't look like any impact mark was created. So... I guess if the Tesla came through the Earth and somehow survived being burnt up in the atmosphere, if it hit the ground at the speed of light, it probably would just turn into a pile of rubble. <laughs> Nothing else. It wouldn't cause any crazy effects like an asteroid would, obviously, or anything like that. But yeah, just a little theory I wanted to try, see if um, anything would happen. But now, let's go ahead to a, an object with a lot smaller size. So let's actually use the Pascal object here, the 4,500 Pascal. This thing's only 7.92 kilometers in size. So will the Tesla have any effect on this? Who knows? Let's um, let's give it a go. So there it is. Oh, oh, it did. All right, and we didn't. We need to speed um, or slow that down. But it did. Where'd those fragments come from? So there we go. Tesla Rosa. What's happening? Tesla? What is this? I'm like clicking where the car. Got what the heck? I think we're a bit glitched out here. What if I go to still? There we go. Is that gonna? And then we'll speed up at uh, light here. 
What up if I try that? Well, hopefully it will crash into the thing. And that's going the wrong way. No, if we drag it there. Okay, so it's still traveling at the speed of light. So for some reason launching it didn't work. So what if we just do this? So right, that is correct. That is traveling at the speed of light. All right. So is it going to do anything to this asteroid? And it's gone. So yeah, even on an asteroid, doesn't look like any effect was caused. Um, we'll speed it up just to see if anything happens. So there we go. Maybe it's because we're playing it so slow that there's no impact marker loaded in. But yeah, by the looks of it, even if we speed the time up, we speed it up as quick as we want. Oh, we did have a... Um, you can see some orange glows there. Huh. But that may have been those fragments previously. So we'll try it on another one just in case. And actually, we'll check Earth as well. Did anything, anything happen on Earth? I doubt it, but let's just look anyway. So, yeah, there we go. So we shot into the Atlantic first, and then we shot it into the UK over there. And, yeah, no impact zone on Earth or anything like that. So it was only the asteroid, and I bet it was those fragments we created when trying to spawn it in. And, oh, my God, look at all this. What, what is all this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure all these fragments were definitely um, part of, or definitely the cause of all those orange mar or orange explosion marks around the sky because there's no way the Tesla, There's surely there's no way the Tesla... Um, itself would have caused all of those orange glows. You can see them all there as I rotate the object. There's no way the Tesla did that. Um, yeah, but now what we'll do is we'll spawn an object. We'll spawn a really small object in, um, and we'll just see if it has any effect on that. So we'll, um, yeah, we'll pull it um, here, just a little further away than the Pascal object is. So there we go. So we'll shoot it against this little guy. So we're going to pull it at. Let's go with a thousand meters. Let's try that. So this thing is really, really small. So right now, let's shoot the Tesla at something in a thousand meters maybe maybe it'd have an effect on this who knows so let's see here right tesla let's get launch mode ready hopefully it works this time so place it there okay so the car is in the simulation that's good all right so we definitely want to slow this down because we're traveling way too quick in time so there we go slow it down all right so tesla at light speed versus one kilometer object so that's a thousand meters there so let's see right so play and it's, yeah, it's definitely smashed into it since the Tesla has disappeared. There's no Tesla in here anymore. So, any impact on you? Let's um, speed it up, see if anything appears. So, anything? No, no, nothing at all by the looks of it. Oh, no. <laughs> Completely nothing happened. But now, we will try that again. But we're going to give, we're going to spawn a, another asteroid in and make it the exact size of the Tesla and see if it's, the Tesla itself, or if it's the actual game that's making it do that. So, um, there we go. So, the Tesla. Because I know sometimes the human objects are really, really weird, and they don't make impact zones and stuff. But what if we have an object that's exactly the same size as the Tesla? So, we want 1.97 meters. So, like this. 1.97, like that. Right. Now, we're going to put that at light speed, and we're going to see if that does any damage to this asteroid in any way. Because if it does, then that means the Tesla can't damage anything i'm assuming so right let's put this guy at the speed of light so like that one light speed uh, what one light speed you're gonna enter that no okay we're gonna have to press play first before we um enter the value so we'll have to slow it down a big amount so we go really really slow right still traveling at two hours no that's not right okay so now we'll do it at the speed of light okay so where, where, where's that asteroid gone oh it hasn't just thrown us completely out of the system there's no way Wow, it really travelled that far. I mean, the speed of light is pretty crazy, remember? So if we uh, pull it toward... Okay, so there we go. Let's try this. So we'll drag it over there, and hopefully it will crash into the object. So this is the te pretty much exactly the same size as the Tesla. So play. Oh my god, it really flies past quick, doesn't it? You have to really slow these down for objects this small. So literally the slowest the game will run now. So that is on an impact course with the asteroid now, I'm hoping. So play. Okay, now we've now we've been able to uh, so down. Okay, so here we go. So this is the exact same size as the Tesla. Will it cause any damage to that at all? If it doesn't, then the t I'd say the Tesla is pretty accurate here. But let's see. Um, is it going to do anything? And oh my, what has happened over there? What the heck was that? Is that a fragment? What? That is a very peculiar thing. Whatever that is over there. Okay, so we'll keep kick play. The asteroid going to get affected in any way? No impact marks? Anything like that? No? Nothing? Okay, so yeah, even even if... I'm guessing the Tesla does cause an effect, then let's just make a big Tesla. 
um, versus the earth for the end of this video but um yeah look so the re there's anything the size of the tesla roadster has no effect on any big object like this or any even the small asteroids the tesla at light speed would pretty much have no effect other than maybe maybe it'd make it rotate a little quicker for a brief time or something like that but yeah definitely wouldn't have any uh crazy crazy effects like an asteroid at light speed would have for instance so yeah we'll try it um yeah we'll put a new tesla in here this time and then what we'll do with this guy is we'll make it pretty big. We'll pull it up to a hundred kilometer size Tesla. There we go. Now we're gonna uh, <laughs> we're gonna slow it down. So okay, so we'll, um, put it there. Click play. Okay, so that is in here. Now we're gonna put it at the speed of light, <laughs> and we'll see if this bigger Tesla, at a hundred kilometers in size, will this have any effect on Earth? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, so the simulation's already playing, so we need to put the Tesla over here, since it's traveling at light speed in that direction. Okay, so it's going to crash into the Pacific Ocean here. So, let's see what it does. Is it, is it going to do anything? Let's find out. Right. Yeah, so one light speed, 100 kilometers. Oh! Yeah, that's probably not realistic, is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure a Tesla, a piece of metal, a, a metal car could make a whole object almost the size of earth come out the earth that doesn't look right to me <laughs> that's definitely not correct i mean tesla did that a, a car a hundred kilometer size car i don't <coughs> did, did i make the mass any bigger i don't know if the game automatically did it or not i guess you guys can let me know in the comments if um the car the mass did go bigger but yeah that that's pretty big so yeah, definitely, if you put the Tesla at a big size, it will cause a devastating impact like this. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a pretty um, that's a pretty nasty impact right there. So yeah, but anyways, to conclude this video, guys, if a Tesla, there's just a regular old Tesla here, so if we just spawn it in quickly. So yeah, if the Tesla Roadster was to hit the Earth at light speed, here's its stats here, so 1.97 meters in length and all that. If the Tesla Roadster, with these stats at the speed of light, hit Earth, literally nothing would happen. It would, it would obviously it would burn up in the atmosphere in reality i'm pretty sure or, or maybe it wouldn't w would it i mean it'd be traveling really really quick so i'm pretty sure all that velocity plus a bit of the atmosphere probably would definitely make a bit, bit of it burn away and but probably the entire thing to be honest but yeah even though the speed of light is quick it probably still would definitely get some heat or definitely get burnt by the atmosphere as it quickly swoops through it so yeah there is that and obviously when it hits the ground that this thing would smash into a billion pieces probably so yeah there is that but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video it was a pretty um interesting idea i thought of um which i thought would be good for a video so um yeah let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and if i if i should have done anything let me know and uh, maybe we could come back to it again or something like that um but yeah if there's anything else you think i should have done for this video yeah let me know but yeah, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this video as well, guys. It really, really helps the channel out a lot. And also subscribe if you're new for more um, pretty crazy ideas like this. And obviously, if you've got a suggestion of your own, definitely feel free to let me know because I do read the comments and do um, do some of your suggestions from time to time as well. Um, so yeah, there is that. But yeah, that's about everything, guys. So make sure you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.